Hey everyone, this is Miss Taylor again. Um, just checking in with you guys, and this is going to be your distance learning week two uh, information overview video that we're gonna start doing. I'm gonna post these every Monday um, just to kind of give you guys an overview of the week and what the week's gonna look like. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Moving right along with distance learning, today this video is going to focus on navigating the course for this week and I will explain what the students should be working on, items that are due, where to turn those in, and I will also show you where you can find access to the materials and resources that you're going to need for this week. As always, um, if this video doesn't answer your questions or if there are more questions created by this video, um, just send me an email, let me know. I'll do the best I can to get them answered for you in a timely manner. So, first and foremost, I want you to notice that we're gonna start doing these, we're gonna create a module for every week that we're doing this distance learning. So we had our distance learning for March 18th through the 27th, and now we're focusing on the week of March 30th through April 3rd. And you see there's already two links in here. Um, the short story study guide that I told you about last week that you can anticipate coming up, and just an overview. These are, they, this is basically gonna be a transcribed copy of this video, what I'm telling you, so that way you can read it as well as listening to me say it. So I wanna start at the top of the list um, as far as assignments that are gonna be due. If you look over here at the to-do portion of your screen, you can see that there are the announcements that I have posted and then some assignments that you can tell you already have coming up. So all of these announcements we went over last week, they're just things that I've posted, reminders. Um, again, some of those were in a video last week. Um, if you watched the video, you've got all this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put X on all of these um, because they're all of the announcements from last week. There's even, we'll actually click on this one, the March 27th end of week review. Um, this told you, all right, we're done with week one of distance learning. Week two is coming up next week. Here's what you can look forward to. Um, again, this is just gonna be my way of reaching out, touching base, making sure that you guys are staying up to date, turning things in, um, and we're covering all of our bases, okay? So we can close this one now. We no longer need that notification up. Students should be working on completing and submitting their short story projects. Remember, this is due by 11.59 p.m. Monday, March 30th. When you click on that link, you can see where it says submit assignment and you have your instructions of everything that you were supposed to do. Um, I've had some people reach out and they've had questions. Guys, I understand that this project was largely done outside of class and on your own. Um, what I'm really looking for here in these projects to be completed is that the Prezi's done, that you have your number of literary terms included in your presentation, 10 if you're standard, 15 if you're honors, and that you can apply your term with the appropriate number of examples. So standard, you needed two examples of every literary term, so that's two quotes, from that story for that literary term. That's it. Honor students, it's three quotes from that story for that one literary term, okay? Um, if you do that, you're gonna do all right on this project. I'm gonna give you some leeway here. We've got some flexibility with this rubric. Um, as far as the Works Cited page is concerned, I need to know where you got it from. So we've used our SiteFast website before in class. Um, just tell me, hey, this was the website I got my story from. And that's really all I'm looking for. Don't forget to do your summaries for each story that you read. I do expect to see those. Um, and then your grading rubric down here at the bottom. Just making sure that your Prezi is top notch, guys. You've had a lot of time at home to work on this. Um, a lack of creativity and originality really shouldn't be a thing right now. Um, plus, it gives you something to do, kind of pass the time. Uh, so let's go back and see what else we've got going on. The second thing that I want you to notice that you have due are the education unit review handouts. So these were the six handouts I had posted in the module for the first week of being out of school and on this distance learning program. Um, students should have copied the questions from the handout into a single Google document, complete the handouts responding to all the questions, and this is where you'll turn that Google document into into, okay? Um, the common lit assignments themselves obviously always get graded in common lit because you submit those answers right there. 
So make sure your six passages are turned in, make sure that you have your six handouts here completed and also turned in. Again, that is going to be due at 11.59 p.m. on March 31st, due Tuesday by 11.59 p.m., March 31st, okay? So make sure that gets done, make sure it gets turned in, and we will move right along. Number three, there will be a study guide for the short story common lit assignments that we were assigned prior to leaving school um, because of this outbreak. The study guide is here. It's already up and available to you. Um, if you click on this, you can hit file, make a copy. This is something I expect you to do. Um, it's going to help you prep for your short story test. So basically what I'm looking for is can you read all of the passages that we have and can you break them up based on these criteria? So write a statement summarizing each of the following. So the introduction, rising action, climax, falling action, resolution, and then some of these will change. Purpose or main idea for the passage called Stereotypes of Hurricanes. I'm gonna ask you about conflict and theme or main idea with some of the other short stories we've read. And then you have the poem that you read. I've got five points that I want you to look at there for that particular poem passage, okay? Um, this study guide, you need to focus on completing it on Wednesday, April 1st. Um, because on Thursday, April 2nd, this is going to turn into a hyperlink to a video so you guys can expect a second video to go up on canvas this week and it's going to be the video that goes over all of these port parts of the study guide in preparation for your test okay so when you're in your modules on canvas and this is what you're looking at for distance learning march 30th through april 3rd you'll see these two links there will be two more links one will be the video overview and then the second one will be the video of the study guide, okay? So make sure you get to all of that on the appropriate days and times this week. Um, and then on Friday, you guys will take your short story unit test, April 3rd. The test will come open at about seven o'clock in the morning. You have until 11.59 p.m. to complete it. Um, I don't know what it'll show you if you click on it right now. It's locked, okay, it just say 6 a.m. Um, Guys, there is a time limit on this test, okay? So normally I don't put a time limit on our test because we're in the class period, um, but there is gonna be a time limit on this when you are at home. So make sure you read the messages, study, use the study guide, go over the video before you open this test because once you open this test and you start questions, it's gonna start counting down your 90 minutes and at the end of your 90 minutes, the test is gonna submit whether you've answered all the questions or not. And any questions that you don't answer will be marked wrong against you. Um, I think that's going to be it for us this week. Your video for your overview is actually relatively short. Um, like I said, any questions, please just let me know. Uh, keep an eye on this distance learning module for this week because more stuff will be going into it as we need it. And then keep an eye on this announcement section um, and read anything pertaining to that particular week, okay? you've got any questions let me know hope you guys are staying safe being smart all of those good things and i'll talk to you soon bye